Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, I said I was going to kind of do a review of using a period cup. Well, for whatever reason, my period was like a week late. Which my period never used to be regular, so it didn't really like freak me out. But I took a pregnancy test anyway, and it was negative. I didn't even feel pregnant, so like I said, I wasn't really worried about it. So, before first time use, check the four air holes at the top of your cup to make sure they are open. These help break the suction seals so you can remove your salt cup later. All right, I'll check that in a second. Salt cups are not supplied in a sterile state, so you may choose to boil your cup in water for four to five minutes, not more than seven, to sanitize it. Use tongs to make sure the cup doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. Okay. Obviously, it'll like melt if it does. Wash your hands and your salt cup with water and mild soap. Rinse thoroughly. Okay. Cool. So there's different folds. We're putting this baby up in ya. Let me check the holes. Open. 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 Okay. All these. I don't know if you guys. There. Yeah. Those are like the little holes that help break. The seal, this feels nice though. It's not like super soft, but it's not super hard. So hopefully, hopefully it's comfortable. I don't know. All right, I think I went with the regular size. So they have like a smaller one, I think, but I went ahead and got the regular. So we'll just see. Cause I don't know, I've never used a cup before. <clears throat> So there's a C fold like this. And then like that, which I don't I already don't really like. <laughs> and there's a punch down fold. I don't really know. Oh, like this, I guess. And then shoop. Sorry, my phone just exited out. I think it ran out of space, so. Where were we? I think the last one they're showing. Yeah. Is the seven fold. So, looks like this. Maybe down a little bit more. And as you can see, that makes like a seven, I guess that's why they call it that. And then I guess you just slide it on in there. So yeah, those are the three folds you can use for putting it in. And the rest, I'll just have to figure out. So I am going to film it kind of day by day. I'm going to review it and let you know how I like it, what works, what doesn't, etc., etc. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm just excited. So, I'm actually probably going to go wash this now. Yeah. So, I will link this below. And there's there's so many others out there. So, if you try one and you don't really like it, there's always something else you can try. So, I just put it in. And... Definitely a learning curve, okay? Because I... Was struggling a little bit um, I actually I got it in fairly easily but then I freaked out because I thought the stem was like supposed to hang out more and I was like oh my gosh it's gonna get stuck so I like stuck my finger up in there and yanked the whole cup out and then when I attempted to put it in again <laughs> I don't know if you can see that but I got a little bit on my sleeve there because this sweatshirt's way too big um, Anyway, it's in now. The stem, I guess I was expecting it to kind of hang out like a period string. I mean, a, like a tampon string. Yeah, no, it, it sits pretty high up in there. Maybe I just have like a super deep vag. I don't know. So it's sitting up in there kind of, and I'm going to have to like 
reach to get it out, you know? So that just, it just kind of freaked me out. But as far as like feeling it a little bit, depending on how I move, but for the most part, it's comfy. And I don't, obviously I don't know about leaks yet, really. I'm not even really heavy yet, so. I'm gonna sleep with it in and uh, I'll just update you guys <laughs> in the morning. Anyway, this is definitely interesting, definitely new for me, but still excited about it, even with that little scare that I had. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I just have this fear that it's gonna get stuck. But you know, like my husband said, he's like, you can always like push it out. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of true. Or just like dig my hand up in there and snatch it. Anyway, I'll check in in the morning. All right, later. So, it's like six in the morning and I just got my cup out. I hope it gets easier because that was a um, little ridiculous. First of all, I don't think I mentioned I used the punch down fold to put it in, so that's okay. That doesn't, you know, it takes me a couple tries, but that's not a big deal. But like, getting it out, the stem is like so high up there and everything's slippery. Let's just be honest. So, you know, just pinching that little thing is not, is not happening. I had to grab, I had to like reach and grab the entire cup. And, you know, they say like, you wiggle it out, whatever. It's supposed to still be full when you get it out. Yeah, no. As I was pulling it out, it just like dumped into the toilet and got all over my hand and <sighs> whatever. So, I mean, I put it back in, but I really hope that shit gets easier because I don't have 30 minutes to spend taking a cup out every day. Like, and that thing was full, so I don't know. Maybe when it's not as full, it's not as bad. I will say, I, I don't even feel it when it's in, so. Like a tampon, you don't, but you do. I don't know, this thing is like, I'm not, I'm like nothing's in there, but and that was really hard to get out. I got really frustrated for a few minutes there. Eyes teared up for a sec, cause I just, it's early, you know? And I just wanted it out. Cause it felt full, which I slept horribly because of my cramps, but. That's another story. Anyway. So yeah, that's that's like day one. Not even day, just night one. I haven't worn it during the day yet. Let's see how that goes. I didn't have any leaks last night. I mean, when I woke up and I went to the bathroom and I first attempted to get it out, there was like blood on my hands. So I'm telling you, like it was f getting pretty full. But there was nothing, like, in my shorts or anything. Yes, I'm wearing my husband's, like, beat-up wife beater. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm gonna go back to bed, so I'll check in with you guys later. Tonight, maybe. Alright. Bye. Alright, so... I just took a shower and I wasn't going to take the cup out, but I was like, you know what? I just want to see if I can get it out. So didn't take me as long this time, but when I say I had to bear down, I mean, I was in the shower, like in a deep squat, heels planted underneath me and like pushing like I was trying to have a baby. So yeah, um, for me, this cup, I don't think it's going anywhere. Like when it's in there, it's in there. There was probably only about like this much of liquid compared to like the cup being about that tall. Um, fluid, whatever, I don't know what you wanna call it, blood. And there was a lot of uh, clots. So a clot was like hanging over the rim of it, which I think why that's why when I peed, like 
there was a little bit of blood when I wiped, but not like, not to the point where I was leaking, I would say. So still no leaks. And I think I'd had it in for like six, between six and seven hours. Anyway, so put it back in. I mean, when it's in there, like, it's great. I don't even really feel it. There's no string to worry about. I don't know. It, I like it. It's just getting it out is a little bit uh, anxiety inducing. <laughs> so maybe I'd need to try another cup. Like, I'm open to that. Uh, but I'm still going to use this one, obviously, because I spent, like, 30-something on it. I did poop with it in. Again, didn't budge. Didn't go anywhere. It was up in there for good so like I said if I want to get it out I really have to like push bear down and push because it's suctioned in there like I can get to the stem the problem is there's not enough of it you know what I mean I can't get a grip on it so what I'm having to do is like reach up like around the cup kind of break the seal and then pull the cup out which maybe people have to do that sometimes I don't know but it's just day one. There's a learning curve. I'm getting used to it, so I'm just going to be positive. So far, mostly good things, except for when I have to take it out. So, yeah. Alright, I will check in with you guys later, because I'll probably take it out around 8, 9, whatever, empty it, and then put it back in for the night. Alright, peace. All right, so it's like 8.30 and I just took my cup out to empty it and I am happy to say that it came right out. I didn't have a problem with it. Um, you know, I still have to reach and still had to like pinch or whatever, but there wasn't a struggle basically, so that was nice. And it wasn't messy, it was... You know, it came out, there was no, nothing on the sides, everything was inside. And again, it was like, not quite half full. Yeah, I mean, we struggled a bit at the beginning of the day, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. And honestly, I love it. Like, <laughs> when it's in, I don't feel it, there's no string, like, I even use the bathroom just fine, so... Yeah, that's day one. Day one complete. No, Bobby's, no. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and we'll just start on day two because I do want to let you guys know what it's like working out with it. So yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. All right, so. Let's see, it's like a little after 7.30. <sighs> Sorry. And I am cold. And I just changed my cup. Changed it. Emptied it. Whatever. It came out fairly easy. I mean, there were, I had to work a little bit to get it out. But I think overnight it kind of settles higher up. I don't know if that's because you're laying down or what, but I feel like I had to reach more and um, but I still got it. It actually took me a couple of tries to get it back in. I was like, I had did the punch down fold and it wouldn't open up inside me, so I had to take it out and do it again. Whatever. It wasn't that much blood. Maybe like a fourth of the cup was full. I mean, it was kind of just sitting in the bottom. No clots or anything. I think my period's gonna kind of lighten up from this point on. I'm enjoying the cup, aside from sometimes struggling to get it out. But when it's in there, I don't even notice it. Like, it's great. And I can't wait to see what it does when I actually work out with it. So, yeah. All right, well, I will just check back in with you guys tonight. Let's see, what is this like? This is technically like day two, but it'll be like night three, I think. So, yeah. All right.
All right, night three check-in. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot when I just emptied the cup this time. And I did have a leak earlier, but I think that's because I mentioned earlier that I kind of had trouble putting it back in. So I think the placement was just kind of off. So the seal must have not been like really good. I don't know, whatever. It wasn't even a lot. Like there was just a little bit in my underwear. Not a big deal. Honestly, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but taking it out, my hand like has started to cramp like up in there. So what I did this time was instead of trying to reach like just straight on, I'm going under this way because I think it's just not as far of a distance or something. I don't know, it's easier and it didn't put as much strain on my hand. I know, it sounds ridiculous. Um, but I, I'm getting better at this, so. Overall, I, I like the cup. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't like it. I wish it was slightly easier to get out. But other than that, it's great. I don't feel it. I haven't really had any leaks. I love only having to like change it twice a day, whereas with tampons, you know, you're changing it a good, a good bit. I don't know. Overall, I'm liking it. Like I said, I might try a different cup. I think it's good to have two cups anyway. Um, so if you find one that you really like and you just get two of that same cup, cool. I just want to give another brand a try, so I'm probably going to do that because I just think you should have two cups, especially if you're like a working girl. You might want to have one with you at work and one at home or, you know, one with you if you travel, one at home. I think it's just good to have two cups. Anyway, so yeah, I just put it back in. You know, the lighter my period gets, I don't know if I'll even really keep wearing it. Tomorrow's gonna be like, I kinda started at night, so tomorrow's technically day three, but by tomorrow night, that'll be like the fourth day. I would say my period usually lasts like five days, but I don't know, my periods are weird now. Like, I'll have it and then it'll go away for like an entire day, I won't bleed at all, and then the next day there'll be a little bit of blood, like, my periods used to always last like seven days though. So, anywhere from five to seven days. But I don't think, if there's just barely any blood, I'm, I'm probably not gonna keep using the cup. I'll just like put on a liner or something. Speaking of which, I am probably going to invest in like period panties and wear those even when I have the cup in. That way, if I have a leak, the panties will just absorb it and then I can just wash them. So that way I don't have to buy like liners or pads anymore. Even though there are, you know, washable pads and stuff, I'd rather just have on a pair of underwear or a thong that will just absorb the liquid, blood, whatever, and then you just wash it out. I didn't get to work out today. This weekend has really just been like me cleaning up around the house and just doing that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna work out tomorrow with the cup in and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, see you in the morning. Good morning. I did not update at all yesterday. It was just one of those days, I don't know. So yesterday morning when I took the cup out, there's really nothing in it. So I was kind of surprised when yesterday ugh, night when I took it out that it was well I had it in for 12 hours but then again I had it in for 12 hours overnight and there was nothing I don't know but there's quite a bit last night when I took it out I didn't work out yesterday either I know we ended up having to come to my parents house and we used to have a gym like an affiliate gym over here but they have Ownership has changed, so now that's a completely different gym, so we can't go there. Anyway, I'm about to take it out this morning, which is like day four, 
by tonight it'll be like day five. Anyway, I'm having a much smoother time getting it in and out, so that's really nice. And yesterday I really don't have anything to report. Like it was it was in all day when I took it out. There was some blood a clot, but other than that nothing crazy. No leaks. Anyway. I'm gonna take it out now. Alright, so I took it out and again there was like nothing in it except for just a little bit along like the walls of it, but there was no like actual blood in the bottom. I actually didn't even put it back in. So Usually, I just rinsed it with water. Most days, it's been about, like, right there. I think the very first day, it was, like, more up here. Yeah. I think what I have found for taking out, what makes it easier, is if I put one leg up on the toilet seat, like that, while I'm sitting, and then reach. Um, I don't know just helps me get a better hold of it. This has been interesting. I'm definitely more comfortable with it now. Like I said, I haven't really had any leaks except for the one time. It was after that time I kind of struggled to get it in, so. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it out for a little bit right now and then I might put it in if I feel like I'm starting to bleed, but there's really not a whole lot going on down there right now, so I just don't feel like having it in. Okay. So I'll just check in tonight and then I'll just wrap it all up. Okay, so I went to the gym with the cup in and I didn't do legs, okay? I only did back, but moving around and all that, it was fine. Didn't feel it, no leaks. I also ran around outside a little bit with Jace kicking the ball nothing so next period for sure I can just kind of do like a little update and let you know how it feels like squatting with it deadlifting lunging whatever I don't think it's gonna be any different but I can update you on that um, there wasn't a whole lot in it and I didn't even have it in most of the day I put it in after I took a shower earlier I told you sometimes my period just kind of like goes away and then all of a sudden like a gush of blood comes whatever so I've only had it in for a few hours I don't know five maybe between five and seven hours I don't know but it uh it barely had anything I mean there was just like a little bit in the bottom so I'm not even gonna put it back in tonight I'm just gonna sleep without it and I will just this is probably going to be my last one, just talking about, or like even using it, like my last day vlog of it, whatever. And I will just kind of wrap it all up for you, pros and cons. Alright, I'm going to go take a shower now, and let's be honest, I'm probably just going to film the little wrap up tomorrow. Bye. One eternity later. Okay, so it has been probably like a week or so since my period ended, but I wanted to just kind of wrap it up for you guys. Anyway, so <laughs> ignore his hair. I attempted to braid it and one of the braids came out. Whatever, it's a hot mess. So, Jay, overall, love the salt cut it didn't really leak at all there was maybe like one time where it slightly leaked but that was probably like user error <coughs> stop my main issue was getting it out but the more i did it the easier it got and uh overall i really liked it i liked how i couldn't really feel it i did one workout in it and it was fine <laughs> I'm definitely a cup user, so, I, I mean, like I said, I'm probably going to get one more and try a different brand just, just to see, but I do like this cup a lot. Anyway, really the only issue was getting it out, and like I said, that got easier, so I really have no complaints, you know, I 
think it's an awesome product and hopefully this helps you make a decision about whether or not you want to try one of these. Um, I definitely recommend it. I feel like it'll change your life. So I'll link it below and yeah, let me know if you decide to try it out and how it goes for you. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.